There definitely is a resemblance. Don't you think, little brother? Or should I say, big brother? I'm not sure. Anyway, it doesn't matter. You and I are both the last surviving sons of Big Boss. It's me. Really? Then what? <clears throat> Those idiots! All right, Raven. I'll be right there. <sighs> They're not responding to our demands. We'll launch the first one in ten hours as planned. Damn Americans. Looks like you read them wrong. Something's funny. Normally, the Americans are the first ones to the negotiating table. They must think they've got something up their sleeves. So it's come down to it, has it? We're gonna launch that nuke and ride it all the way into history. I've got to take care of some launch preparations. You're in charge here, Ocelot. What about you? Wanna stay for the show? I'm not interested. It's time to feed the family. So, you prefer your wolves to my show, hmm? Ocelot, don't screw up like you did with the Chief. Yes, I know. That was an accident. I didn't think a pencil pusher like him would be so tough. Well... His mental defenses were reinforced by hypnotherapy. Boss, what about that ninja? He's killed twelve men. Whoever he is, he's some kind of lunatic. Bastard took my hand. How could he have gotten in here? Perhaps there's a spy among us. Mantis is dead. We've also got to find out what killed Baker and Octopus. We're short-handed, so make this little torture show of yours as short as possible. Torture? This is an interrogation. <laughs> as you wish. See you later, brother. Your woman is still in this world. Meryl! Once she picks a target, she doesn't think about anything else. Sometimes she even falls in love with them before she kills them. Finally, just the two of us. How are you feeling? Not bad. Caught a nice nap on this revolving bed of yours. Too bad I was sleeping alone. Glad to hear that. This is some bed, all right. I'm about to show you some of its nicer features. 
Where are my things? Oh, don't worry. They're all there. Washington was taking quite a chance sending you here. Someone must have a lot of faith in your skill, hmm, carrier boy? Huh? So, Metal Gear is armed with a new type of nuclear warhead, huh? Why don't you go ask Campbell for the full story? The Colonel? By the way, you got an optical disc from President Baker, didn't you? What if I did? Is that the only disc? There's no other data? What do you mean? There's no copy? If not, that's fine. Is Meryl okay? She's not dead... yet. Thanks to Wolf's whim. But it's up to you if you want her to stay that way. You were holding one card key. Where are the other two? What's the trick behind that key? Trick? That weasel of a president said there's some kind of trick to using the key. Hell if I know. I see. No problem then. We're going to play a game, Solid Snake. And we'll find out what kind of man you really are. When the pain becomes too great to bear, just give up and your suffering will end. But if you do, the girl's life is mine. Press the resist button repeatedly to regain your strength. When you've had enough, press the surrender button to submit. When your life reaches zero, the game is over. There are no continues, my friend. Don't even think about using autofire, or I'll know. Snake, it's been a long time since you saved your game. Yeah? So what? If your body can't survive the torture, it'll be game over. You really want to travel down that long road again? Come on, I won't tell. Why don't you just give up? I'm going to run a high voltage electric current through your body. If it's just for a short time, it won't kill you. Did you know that it was the French who first thought of using electrical shocks as a means of torture? Hey, French films are all right, but I don't care about that crap. Mm, you're a tough guy, Snake. But I've got some bad news for you. You're no POW. You're a hostage. There's no Geneva Convention. No one is coming to save you. Starting to feel a little scared? Good. You should be. Okay. Let's get started. <laughs> 